You're watching Bob Wellington on CBS 10 WILM. Here's your host, Don Ansel. Okay, we're back. Uh, our guest is Bunzer County Sheriff John Ingram, and we're talking about um, his appointment and uh, his, uh, his career. And uh, you've been sheriff for how long now? Oh, uh, 19 months, 18 months. Oh, that long already. Something, yeah. And you're following what some would categorize as a, a corrupt predecessor. Um, some, uh, and, and I've heard that there's, people think there has been a, 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 a culture of corruption is the best way I, I know how to uh, put it, in Brunswick County, particularly in law enforcement. 1983, Sheriff uh, Strong was convicted in a drug smuggling operation. He was sentenced to 14 years in prison. Uh, two sheriffs later, uh, 25 years later, in 2008, another Brunswick County Sheriff, Ron Hewitt, pleaded guilty to federal obstruction of justice charges and 16 months uh, active sentence. Uh, just a strange coincidence or something more? Uh, I think um, it's unfair to judge an entire organization on individual actions. Uh, you have problems within any law enforcement agency, whether it's uh, an off individual officer uh, committing a crime or uh, violating policy or whatever it might be. Um, it's a little different know, when, when I, it's the leader, when, though. Well, when it's the leader, you have to remember that even those individuals are human beings and uh, they have to be held accountable for their actions they're not above the law and uh, it's unfortunate that we have uh, been through that uh, as an office um, but I can assure you that we take great care in uh, how we uh, represent our office and the people of Brunswick County. Do you think do you think that damages things like like those two cases, the image of law enforcement in the eyes of the public? I think that uh, it can um, affect the uh, the confidence and respect that the public has mm -hmm. for uh, an agency at times. But uh, as I've asked people throughout the county. Uh, speaking with citizens and groups and organizations, you know, ask them just to judge us simply on what uh, we're doing, like the job we're doing and how we conduct ourselves. And I think that we have been able to, um, in the past few months, rebuild the confidence of the uh, citizens within our county. And uh, they know that we operate uh, very transparently and that we have taken uh, great strides and connecting with our communities and the citizens within the communities and throughout the county and trying to make it um, an organization that uh, everyone in Brunswick County can be proud of. And I know the men and women that work there are very proud to be a part of it. L last September, an inmate uh, escaped from Brunswick County Jail because of a, a mistaken identity issue. Yes. Uh, what happened? How serious was that? Uh, how did you find out? Well, did uh, you get a call at midnight saying, oh my goodness? No, I don't think it was at midnight. <laughs> um, I can't remember exactly the time, but uh, I did receive a call from uh, one of the supervisors that um, an inmate had been uh, let out of our facility. Um, and as I've said before, uh, speaking with the media regarding this issue, we have uh, several uh, redundancies built in. Uh, we have uh, computer systems and uh, hard files uh, built into the system where when someone's released, it's, it's uh, virtually impossible unless we have the human factor uh, brought into it. And uh, any time that you have someone that completely disregards all of the procedures anything that are put happen. in place, anything yeah. can sure. happen anywhere. Uh, what was your reaction like? <laughs> I can just imagine. Oh, no. What happened? Well, uh, the first thing I wanted to know is, uh, was there any way we could locate right. that suspect and we, that individual, and we tried to. And uh, fortunately, we do have him in custody in Maryland now. When did that happen? Uh, just uh, just recently. Yeah. Yes. Uh, he's uh, he's actually in custody in Maryland um, on some 
unrelated charges uh -huh. and we have a detainer on him and as soon as they're finished up with him we'll be uh, bringing him back to our county. Um, was, it, was the disciplinary action taken against the individual that breached uh, protocol? Yes. Or in your department? Mm -hmm. Is he still with the department? No. Do you ever worry about how the media is going to react to stuff like that? Uh, I don't let uh, the media's reactions or opinions dictate how I operate the sheriff's office. And uh, when it comes to uh, disciplinary actions, uh, up to and including termination, uh, it's not something that I take lightly. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been very fortunate during my tenure as sheriff not to be faced with that issue. Um, very many times and uh, when I am faced with it uh, it's something that I know in the end that it rests solely with me and I take great care in that and it's not something that um, I, I make a decision and just forget about it. I, I will carry that with me the rest of my life because I not only if the decisions I make not only affect that individual but their families and friends and, and so forth. So. Talking about issues that, that, that rest hard on you, there was an incident where um, a, a deputy w investigating a domestic violence call shot and killed a suspect. A district attorney, Rex Gore, ruled that the shooting was justified. Um, and then the case has been turned over to the SBI, is that correct? Uh, the, I think the case that, um, yes, the case that you're speaking about, they, uh, we actually had um, an independent investigation okay. conducted by um, the uh, SBI right. and uh, they have cleared our officer. Uh, yes. Um, and so, and that de the status of that deputy is still with the department. Yes. Yes. Uh, that had to be difficult for you. Yes. Well, it was very difficult for the officer uh -huh. to be put in that situation, uh -huh. and he is who um, uh, I hope the community will keeping their thoughts and prayers because uh, he, he really needs that. That's not something that um, uh, he um, wanted to be faced with or uh, even wanted to be a part of. Uh, he's um, a very good officer. He is uh, has a uh, great respect within the community. And, and he was cleared by he was district cleared, attorney uh, cleared by the and by the SBI. Yes. And, and so by that, our own internal investigation. And, and your own investigation. Yes. Uh, one of the things that I, that I was able to do uh, last year was bring um, a retired SBI agent on. Um, and uh, he, he works in our office um, in our professional standards division and uh, handles all of our internal investigations. And uh, that, uh, with that, he's able to get right on situations like that and take uh, handle situations like that and deal with it. And he's been able to... Um, really help restore the confidence within the community as well. We'll be back more with uh, Brunswick County Sheriff John Ingram right after this.